Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're going to be testing whether or not you can run a 5000 BTU window unit air conditioner off of a portable solar generator. The answer is yes and is it sustainable, meaning that you can do it multiple days in a row? The answer is again yes. Um, so with all the heat waves that are going on, um, it's kind of a dangerous situation. There are lots of wildfires in Oregon and heat waves that are unprecedented and all this stuff. And it can lead to heat stroke and even death uh, among people that are susceptible to that kind of thing when, electric, when electrical supply lines are cut off. So I thought these might be a beneficial series of videos that I'm gonna do with lots of different portable solar generators, as many as I can get my hands on. Today, we're gonna to be working with the Lion Safari ME. This is by Lion Energy. It is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 4000 watt surge, about a thousand uh, watt hours with just the base unit. And if you add the extension battery pack, it's about 3000 watt hours of power. It can take up to 600 watts of solar. And considering that the, um, uh, you know, a basic window unit AC. Mine actually takes about 350 watts to 370 watts while the compressor's running, which means that this could actually charge off of solar while it's running the air conditioning unit in ideal sunlight conditions. If you're interested in one of these, the link down below will save you 15% on absolutely anything at the Lion Energy website. And also, if you want to give them a call, you can use the code word adventure to also save that 15%. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the test result answers in case you're just here to get that information. The answer is yes, it runs the air conditioner. For the first test where we had normal conditions where the air conditioner can actually cool down a 10 by 10 room, which is what I did this experiment in, um, with just like say 75 or 80 degrees outside, it's not that hot, it's not crazy. It was able to run for about 18 hours into the night, um, started about, I, I think it was around noon, but basically it ran about 18 hours. Now I'm also gonna do a simulation where I simulate a heat wave condition where the compressor cannot keep up. It's not gonna be able to completely cool off the room and it's just gonna run that compressor continuously as much as it can to keep trying to com combat that, that really hot condition. And um, when I did that experiment as well, it made it for about eight hours. So that was very, very impressive considering that you can just charge that right back up the next day um, while you're running the air conditioner even, depending on how much sunlight you have. It'll take about 600 watts of solar. Um, so stick around because we're gonna get into the testing parameters that I did right here, uh, just to show you exactly what the temperatures were and the conditions. Um, keep in mind, I had to rip a window out, off of my house because the windows don't fit a window unit AC. And I know you guys wanted to see a practical application installed in a room that is insulated like you would be using in a house. So I ripped out the window, I made something temporary, stuck the AC unit in there, and set up all of these cameras and parameters to test this out. So without further ado, why don't we jump right into exactly how I got these numbers and the temperatures and, and conditions involved. Let's jump into it. Okay, everybody, so what we have going on here is the Safari ME with the expandable battery pack. They are both at 100% and full. The air conditioning unit is plugged directly into that. And we're gonna set it at 62 degrees on cool with the fan on low. And we're gonna run that inside the room here. It's about one o'clock. Um, we're gonna start this test. The GoPro's just sitting on that heater so we can kind of get a readout of the digital display. I have a phone looking at the temperature that we'll throw up in a little bit. And here you can see it's about 11 o'clock at night. So this is many hours later. And even though it's cooler outside, I opened up the door to the bedroom and I can show you using my thermometer, my temp gun right here, that it is still actually functioning and blowing cold air. Even though it is cold outside, I opened up the door and my house is warm. So it's still doing the uh, compressor. You can see by the display on the ME itself that it keeps going from like 40 hours to six hours or 30 hours to five hours. And that's because that's the difference between running the fan and running the compressor. And you can see that it is cycling on and off. And the temperature in the room is above 62 degrees. Um, that's the bottom temperature there. And so you can tell it is cycling uh, pretty much throughout the night, but like a normal situation, it's kind of keeping the room cool. And so that compressor is only kicking on when it needs to every once in a while. Uh, after that air blows in from outside the door and we end up with about 18, 19 hours on this test. Now we're gonna be simulating a heat wave and as you can see, everything's charged up. Everything's back to 100%. I have a little watt meter on there this time. We're gonna be setting the air conditioner on again, except we're also gonna be running it against that heater that you see down there so we can never catch up. And it's gonna, we're gonna be starting this test at 12 
uh, in the afternoon. So we're gonna turn on everything here. Crank up the AC at 62. We're gonna put the fan on high because it's, we're gonna simulate that it's really hot outside and we're putting on max at the lowest temperature. And now we're setting that heater on the low setting so it'll never be able to catch up in there. 68 degrees in the room right now um, at noon. And as you can see, uh, just to show you what time it was there, it's 12 o'clock. And then later on, um, this is after the test is pretty much finished here. You can see that the heater is cranking out heat and the air conditioner is still blowing out cold air. And now it is 7.30, so we're gonna wait for that to completely die before we uh, check that out. And so the AC just cut off just a second. I heard the fan going down, we're at 0%. And as you look over here, you can see that we made it seven hours and 44 minutes, and it's actually 69 degrees in the room, so a little bit warmer than when we started. So that air compressor really had to work. As you can see here by the watt meter on the right and also the uh, display on the ME, that number doesn't fluctuate anymore because the compressor's just running solid. I mean, it, it, it it didn't take a break, which is crazy. Um, and that's more accurate to what you'd be experiencing in a heat wave. And so under this particular test with the compressor just running constantly at 100%, we still managed to get the very impressive number of seven hours and 45 minutes, as you can see right there. So almost eight hours with the compressor just going at it the entire time. I think that's really cool. So incredibly impressive. This is a practical application, as close as I could get to it up in here in the mountains without having an actual heat wave going on. This could run an air conditioner in an off-grid power down situation um, every single day. I have confidence. As long as you had sun, uh, no problem. With solar, 600 watts, the full amount of solar, and you're getting good sun, sun conditions and not running anything else, you can charge this guy up with the expansion pack in about three and a half hours, which is great. And if you have a connection to just plug it in or you run a gas generator, say, for three hours to plug it in, or you have house power and you plug it in, um, it'll charge in about three hours. So very, very impressive recharge time, massive cycle life. I mean, it's like 3,500 cycle. It'll last like 10 years uh, discharging it every single day. Um, so it's, it's really impressive how it handled this air conditioner and the air conditioner itself is among one of the more efficient units that I've ever seen. I picked this up at Walmart. I'll try and put a link down there below uh, for you, maybe on Amazon or something if you want that particular model as well. And I will be doing a playlist uh, doing these exact same tests with as many solar generators as I can get my hand on to show you guys how they perform and these crazy heat wave times, and maybe this will, will help somebody out because heat waves can be very dangerous if you lose power and you're susceptible to extreme heat conditions. So again, the link is down below to the Lion Energy website to get this particular unit, and they have uh, different uh, packages with solar and the expansion uh, you know, battery pack, and also solar panels and all kinds of stuff. So you can just go over there with the link down below and that'll automatically save you 15% off anything that you buy on their website, which is great, that's hundreds of dollars. And um, if you wanna give them a call and talk to them instead and you still wanna save that 15%, use the code word ADVENTURE and that will also save you that 15%. I hope this was beneficial for you guys. I don't really know what kind of video to do about the flooding going on on the other side of the country. Um, if you can think of anything, leave it in the comments below. Maybe a sump pump or some kind of I have no idea, but if I can test it, I will. And uh, just leave that in the comments below. I think that about wraps it up. I was very impressed with this unit. This is an absolutely sustainable way to run an air conditioner, in my opinion, under pretty much any condition. Um, if you have solar, you're gonna be pretty good to go. Um, it would definitely run this air conditioner during the hot times of the day, no problem. For eight hours under extreme use, you're good to go. And then you can just charge it up the next day and hopefully that helps you out. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so you actually get notified when I make a new video. That really helps me out. And until the next video, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Thank you so much for watching, and happy camping.